Greetings, greetings, Taurus, my lovely Taurus. Welcome. Taurus, we're here to do an energy check. Just do a reading here to find out what's coming for my Taurus people. And Taurus, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Welcome to the channel, Taurus. And for those of you returning Taurus, I so appreciate your presence here. Thank you for coming back. All right, Taurus, this is a general reading. And what that means is if you find that these messages do not resonate with you, Taurus, do not panic. It simply means that you need to go ahead and click on the subscription button, mash that notification bell so that when your message drops within the next few days, you're the first one to know. All right, Spirit, let's get some messages on the board for my lovely Taurus. Show me, Spirit, what is coming towards my Taurus in the upcoming days and any warnings that they need to know about, if any. Show us those as well. All right, let's get some messages here for my Taurus. Mmm, Taurus. Goodness. Wow. I like all of this, Taurus. All right, let me pick up my clarifiers and let's get started. All right, Taurus. Your first message comes by way of the Ten of Cups followed by the two of pentacles, or I'm sorry, the four of pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the sun. Ha, huh. you can see that wonderful energy there, Taurus. All right, spirit, let me get some clarifiers here for this 10 of cups. Why do we have this 10 of cups here for the Taurus? Immediately what I'm seeing Taurus here is a situation that you have been concentrating on. And the 10 of cups always, well, not always, let me say this. The 10 of cups has to do with relationships and particularly those of love relationships. And let's see what we have here. Wow, a four of, four of wands really, or four of clubs. Clarifying this 10 of cups lets me know that Taurus you're feeling, or you will be feeling in the upcoming days, a feeling of stability regarding a love relationship. Um, like this feels like soulmate type energy for you is what you're going to be resonating in. I feel like this is a situation for many of you that has been long overdue in coming from your point of view. In other words, you've been involved in a situation where there's been a lot of... Uh, not being sure about the one that you desire, not being sure about their feelings, not being sure about, you know, what place you hold in their heart, in their mind, in their life. And so in these upcoming days, I'm really feeling like there's a conversation that is had between the two of you. And with that conversation, you are feeling as if, now you know you are in a stable connection. A, you're in a relationship that is soulmate-based with stability. Okay, so let's keep going to see if this perception is true. I mean, this Ten of Cups is beautiful here, but we do have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, which does mean like someone opens up. So like I was saying here, there's a conversation that's had that brings in the clarity of the sun, right? But let me go ahead 
and pull clarifiers here. Yes, yeah, so with this Ten of Swords, there's been a lot of difficulty, a lot of difficulty, even to the point of you, Taurus, feeling defeated in this connection, feeling as if you were the only one in it, right? And with this Sun being clarified by the, the Ace of Coins, or the Ace of Pentacles, basically, in the reverse, what I'm seeing here is there is something that you have clarity about here with the person as a result of this talk, but what you may be ignoring is the fact that they're not really coming forward with a solid offer for you, okay? So this feels, looks beautiful. You just want to like dive into this 10 of cups feeling. You want to ignore, um, the fact that, yeah, this person has divulged some information to you. Like they've divulged something alleviating what has felt so difficult for you because this feels like a true win. However, because you're kind of jumping in with both feet once you have this discussion, once you feel this connection to them in a different way, in a more loving way, you're willingly overlooking something and you're like, eh, well, now that can't be, you know, the fact that they're not bringing forth an offer yet, I can't have everything all at once is what it feels like you're saying to yourself, Taurus, which is a misnomer because here we have the overall energy of this being that of the eight of swords. So once this conversation's had, once these loving moments have happened, and in the case of many of you, this is a, a connection which you have been feeling on the outside, which you may not have in other words, you've been in separation from the one that you desire and now this person suddenly comes to you, like suddenly, like suddenly like the sun comes up in the morning, right? Suddenly this person comes in, they, they have this uh, come to Jesus moment with you, so to speak, where they're like pouring out some feelings towards you and you have these loving, tender moments and many of you even go and, you know, physically you, you have involvement with this person. In other words, sex enters the picture again, probably for some of you hasn't, it's been a while and it's definitely been a while since you've had sex with this person. So now you're in this high flying, lovely energy, feeling clear, feeling there's nothing holding the two of you back from each other. And then, you know, it's like they go their separate ways or they go home or they, you know, they're no longer in your face they're no longer sitting there with you and as soon as they walk out the door now Taurus you're in your head you're in your head about where you know is everything as it appears is everything the way I thought it was like the mental fuckery begins with you like you're just trapped in your mind now going over and over there was no offer really you just had some good feeling words and now as soon as that person it's like a withdrawal as soon as the person goes home you know to go to work or to shower and change and go about their business or whatever now you have this trapped feeling like a withdrawal of oh did I do the right thing? Is this, am I clear on what I'm seeing? They didn't actually offer me anything solid. And behind the scenes of it all, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And really, Taurus, unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the truth was not expressed. So they said some things 
to put you at ease, to give you this feeling of clarity. Like this felt like the sun came out after the long, cold winter and you saw nothing but gray skies while you were in separation from this person. And now <sighs> that they've gone, you know, next day they get up, they go to work or whatever and you've been ruminating over what happened, it's like the truth, Taurus, was not part of this picture. There was no offer because they were gaslighting you. And I am so sorry. I mean, I got excited when I saw this 10 of cups here. I got excited when I saw the sun and the four of pentacles in the reverse. I felt excitement for you. And I want you to know that Taurus, to be forearmed, forewarned is to be forearmed. Now that you see what spirit has to say about this, now that you see the truth wasn't present, I want you, Taurus, when this person approaches you, to keep this in mind, and then you actively look for the truth. You actively look for an offer, and if you don't get it, you push back and you challenge this person. Put your money where your mouth is because all they are doing right here in this situation is running their mouth. Put your money where your mouth is and show me the 10 of cups. Show me the offer. Make good on that. And then we'll get to the good, loving, lovey-dovey stuff. All right, Taurus, take care of yourself. Sorry, I couldn't bring you better energy, but spirit is spelling it out for you so that you don't have to go through the letdown. You don't have to go through this, Taurus. It's up to you. All right, all my best Taurus, and until next time, take care, subscribe.